Alright, uh, hopefully you guys watch my top 10 figures of 2020 and uh, I got a few uh, honorable mentions that I want to uh, use this uh, video to let you guys know about them and uh, first first off would be these uh, ZD Toys uh, Iron Man figures uh, if, you're, if you're into Iron Man figures you might want to give these a, a, definitely a look at um, these are by ZD Toys it's a um, I think it's from China uh, it's fully licensed figures um, they are they they are uh, s actually pretty cheap in price uh, roughly around uh, uh, around 40 shipped to the US and um, they uh, they are made out of plastic but uh, the paint job on them are fantastic they are uh, they they have a really really good paint job uh, almost uh, almost as good as uh, hot toys um, not exactly at that level but still a very good uh, version of these Iron Man figures in a affordable in, in an affordable price point and uh, it definitely wouldn't break your budget and uh, but uh, they are they are really good looking ones they don't have light up features or anything like that there is a mark 3 that's coming out with light up features but uh, right now, uh, they have, let's see, Mark 5 and Mark 6 on pre-order. Then uh, the ones that are out is Mark 3, Mark 2, and Mark 4. These are the three that are out right now. You can get them on eBay. Um, just find a, a reputable uh, retailer and um, should be able to get them. And uh, they roughly cost about 40 each. And uh, the lighter one, uh, not sure how much that's going to be yet. It's not up on pre-order, but uh, the Mark V and the Mark VI, same price, around 40 shipped, or somewhere around there. So those two are up on pre-order, and these three are on on, on uh, uh, for sale right now. And just for the heck of it, here's what Mark IV looks like. Now, uh, a lot of articulation points. Um, not great as far as a range motion, but uh, just look at that paint job. It is very impressive uh, for uh, for this price point too. Let's look at that. I mean, yeah, I don't think anyone could beat that at this price point. So yeah, it's definitely worth a purchase, uh, or even worth a look. And uh, I have videos on all three of these, so welcome to take a look at those as well. And another line that's worth a look is uh, the G.I. Joe line from Hasbro uh, Classified series. And uh, here I have Snake Eyes to showcase uh, with uh, a, a figure that you want to pick up. Um, Snake Eye is very popular in the G.I. Joe uh, universe. And uh, this figure uh, definitely delivers a lot of good things. Uh, it has great articulation points. And uh, they even added lower legs uh, where you can lower the hip section which gives him a little bit more range. Uh, he could do a lot of fantastic poses, a lot of realistic human poses. So yeah, definitely worth it. It's highly articulated and uh, a lot of accessories. And uh, I think uh, all the characters are pretty good. I mean, I'm more interested in the uh, the villains uh, with this line. Uh, the Cobra Commander, the Baroness, uh, the uh, Destro. Uh, hopefully they'll make a uh, storm shadow and his actual uh, uh, well-known outfit instead of the Arctic one uh, they release. Uh, I didn't like that one at all. Um, and um, but uh, another thing, hopefully they'll stop uh, giving uh, Target an exclusive for these figures because uh, you can never find them at Target. Uh, you try to order them online, they were sold out immediately. It was a pain in the ass. Um, so uh, the the what you would call it, the Cobra Infantry Trooper, uh, that one that's so hard to find right now. Uh, at least the Target exclusive version. Uh, there's the regular version is up on pre-order everywhere, which is nice. And then now they also did a um, so uh, Cobra Viper. Uh, that one it's also impossible to get uh, that one's also a target exclusive which I really hate that they're doing that uh, giving target the exclusive but uh, what can I do right so yeah that's also another one I want to mention and here's another one we love to hate it is uh, Ahsoka Tano 
the reason why I hate is because it is a Walmart exclusive, uh, but it's a little better than uh, Target exclusive. Uh, I was able to pre-order them, uh, even though it got delayed quite a few times. Uh, but I, I believe they are shipping now, uh, or or they started shipping uh, a few weeks ago actually. Uh, so you should be able to get yours uh, if you already had it on pre-order. Uh, I know they canceled some of the orders. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I was able to get mine. So. Uh, so yeah, it is a great figure, and uh, the only one I like is the Clone Wars version. I didn't like the other one, uh, the uh, what was that? The Rebels version. I didn't like that one at all. So this is the only one I'm gonna get, and uh, yeah, it's a Walmart exclusive. But it is a figure that's worth getting, but not at a uh, markup price though. So go check at Walmart, and uh, if not, then um, check their online store. Sometimes they have it back uh, on pre-order, uh, then you'll be able to get it. So there you go. And another one that's worth mentioning, it's another Hasbro. Man, I feel like almost all of these are Hasbro figures. Uh, this set came out, uh, it was kind of, it was like their, uh, what was it, Hasbro Postcon or something. Uh, they had it on pre-order uh, a few months back, and then uh, it started shipping uh like a month ago or so yeah and uh this is a great set uh, it has three figures echo fives and jesse and uh all three are highly articulated fantastic figures they each have different head sculpts too they're definitely different i mean it's the same character because they're all clones but uh, they have their own individuality so they all look very different and helmets are nice, and uh, it has a fully articulated head, body, even torso. There's uh, articulation, and uh, which, oh, which this this kind of leads into my uh, most disappointing figure. Not these three, but another one, which I'll I'll, I'll talk about in another video. In another video, um, which is Rex, but uh, I'll talk about that later. But uh, let's focus on the honorable mentions, and these three are fantastic figures. Uh, the fact that you could actually take them out and put them back together, I'll put them back in, even though um, the, uh, the the clamshell piece is uh, glued on, uh, I just use an exacto knife and then cut off the inner packaging, all three sides, uh, the down, under, and the side, and then left the top. Oh, uh, sealed and then I was able to remove the figures and once I was done with them I could put them back in and uh, put it back in the box and it looks like they're brand new so that's something that's kind of cool that you can actually do that and next up I have three Megatrons that I want to talk about uh, these are honorable mentions because I really like Megatrons and uh, I picked these up uh, this year 2020 and uh, I the new age one the one in the middle most likely came out maybe a year back, uh, 2019 or something, I'm not quite sure, but that's when I picked it up, it was in 2020, that's when I picked it up, so I'm adding it to this video here. And uh, this one, I am not sure, this is the Magic Square version, uh, I'm not sure when this one came out, and I also purchased it in the 2020, so that's why I'm also including this guy. Uh, this one, I like it because it's very, very cartoon looking. It looks very accurate to the cartoon version. Um, everything about him looks uh, very accurate to the uh, cartoon cartoon version. And uh, yeah, even the likeness. I, I think this one turned out great. The the only the only thing I didn't like as much is the plastic they chose. Uh, it's it feels a little cheaper uh, than what other figures uh, use. Um, this one, it's it's kind of rough to touch, uh, and uh, I I don't know how to explain it, but it's just when you when you touch it, it feels different than your average plastic that that you use, that you're used to. Uh, this one is just a little different, and then this one is the new age, and uh, I really like this guy uh, because he can sit down. Uh, when he's standing, he looks kind of weird because of those. Um, hinges around the hips but I like them because uh, I'm having them sitting uh, sitting uh, here and uh, on this throne here and he looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, that that evil laugh 
that he has on it looks perfect absolutely perfect so that's why I really like this guy and uh, also the Hasbro version the non-transforming uh, transformers a lot of people don't like these uh, I've had a few people uh, saying these are garbage but to me I think they look fine uh, I'm not looking for transforming robots I'm looking for robots robots so this feeds my niche perfectly and uh, I'm sure uh, a few people will, would also like these as well and uh, it is Megatron and uh, it's very cartoon accurate and uh, one thing I like uh, Megatron over the other ones is because he has app crunch too it's kind of hidden I mean you could but you could kind of tell as well um, here in the center he has an app crunch so that's awesome I like that and it is a ratchet joint and uh, if you want to watch a full video of it I have it uh, already reviewed this guy so uh, you're welcome to watch that as well so yeah so these three are uh, honorable mentions and here's the last one the last honorable mention I want to talk to you guys about is the Mafex in the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man and um, this is by Mafex it is a it is a figure that you have to be super super careful about that's why I didn't make my top 10 because uh, you have to be extra extra careful with this guy because he is super skinny and uh, the joints are so tiny that uh, if you if you if you aren't careful you might end up breaking this figure um, he has a cloth outfit cloth uh, jacket with the hoodie shorts and uh, which helps because uh, it hides the joints perfectly but uh, if you want to move the joints I suggest you take those uh, those garments off first to understand how to move this guy uh, before you start moving him otherwise you might end up breaking him without even knowing it and uh, he comes with a lot of accessories uh, some magnetic feet there's some magnetic feet and uh, some magnetic shoes and then uh, a whole lot of hands and uh, quite a few head sculpts as well and, uh, that's why this is another one that I want to mention because uh, it is a fantastic looking figure so there you go there's my honorable mentions for 2020 and then uh, like I teased before the um, disappointing figures of 2020 video should be up soon and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>